welcome back to our channel so today we are out and about sourcing some plantains mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some banana yes. for our shamba this one one what happened to this one it's too long okay so with these plantains we got some plantains we have two different varieties of which i can't even tell you the name because i was told it in swahili and i have to ask again what the names of them were but they are two variety different varieties um this is a learning experience because to be honest i didn't know plantains come in different varieties and what the kaka told me is that here in tanzania they have about 10 different varieties of plantains some of them they are huge i will walk up around his property his farm and i will show you some of the humongous um plantains that we see here all right this is a different variety of plantains right here i don't know if you can see the height but they are huge the roots are really in and the fruits are huge good morning welcome back to our channel the jamaican african travel channel i wanted to give you guys an update um into our banana grove we have finally put in all the suckers that we had um last week we did fill all the holes with all the suckers that we had um in total i think we got maybe 40 banana and planting suckers and we have put them in and within the holes we have also thrown some pumpkin seeds because we realized that the pumpkin loves the banana root so we throw a couple pumpkin plants within the hole hoping for some plants all right so um this side is finished we've done i'm gonna throw some corn i'm gonna put some corn seeds in corn kernel i should say although claude is telling me that the pumpkin and the corn shouldn't be in the same um field so i think i'll take it as his advice on that and maybe put the corn somewhere else also here as you can see this is our sweet potato mound we got some sweet potato vine from our neighbor and we were able to plant about we got about five beds so this is our first time planting sweet potato and i gotta do my research to see from planting to harvest how long it takes i have no idea so we got about as i said five beds so that's in um we have some more suckers here that we need to put in these are the smaller one these are all plantings so we are um doing the lower part now and we're going to start putting those in we have already put it, planted some pumpkin vines and they're coming along also. So these we had put in before we did the banana. So uh, we're not, we're not, um, we're satisfied. We're satisfied with how this is coming along. Um, we got up early this morning and came to the shamba before the sun came out to make sure that everything isn't watered or just to help the cacas that we have here with the watering 
And this is one of my, this is my grapefruit. I did a grapefruit. So it's looking healthy. It's coming along. And that we're happy about. So another little pumpkin vine right here. That's not doing bad. And as you can see, it's very, 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 it's extra dry. We have had no rainfall. And from what I read, there is a drought in Tanzania. So we just give the most high thanks and praise that we have our own water source where we depend on the sun to pump our water. So that way we know that our plants are getting the water they deserve. And right here, as you can see, this is a, um, I want to say a tangerine. Yeah, it's very tiny. I got it at a cheap price, actually. So I'll just nurture it and let it take its time and come into a big plant. So this is all our bananas that we did right here on this section. I don't know how... How well you can see it as it's blended in with the dirt with the soil uh-huh so that's it I think as I said in total we have about 50 shoots that we planted this is one of our guava tree and it's looking pretty healthy so we will watch it and right in the root of the guava there's another pumpkin. So we try to intercrop to get the best of the land, from the land. And right over here is my completed compost bin that Claude made last week. Um, we have started to fill it. I think the only thing that's left that I need to put in is some sawdust. I think yesterday we overwatered it. But for the most part, it has everything the expert says it needs to start doing its thing. Within the compost bin, we put our dried up sunflower stalks, all the pruning from the passion we threw in there. Every scrap that we use in the house, the pineapple peel, the watermelon, the eggshell, we threw everything in. I think we might need a third bin to when we start to, um, to when it start to break down, we can transfer. And these are all the stalks that's left over that I will have to eventually put in the bin but for now they're just sitting here and we'll see this is my guava since we've been out here a lot working um, they've been getting more attention to be honest um, they've been thriving since the last two weeks because I look I see I water before it's like I'm all the way over there and I didn't take the time to um, come over and t tend to them. And this is the papaya. We threw the skin and the seeds and everything here. And this is what came forth, the papaya plant. Initially, we had planted this sawasap tree. And believe it or not, it's still alive. I see the little green shoots coming out. So... I'm glad it's I'd rather pull the papaya out and let the sour sap thrive but for now we'll just leave both of them there and let them get some life into them and these are the holes that the guys dug they finished digging them yesterday so we have to fill it with manure and ashes and let them let it sit for a couple of days and then we're going to source some more banana and plantain and maybe a couple coconut trees and uh, stick them in the earth and let it do its thing so 
this was our project for last week the end of another week we've been coming to the shamba really early and leaving early because the sun is just too much to be working out in it all day this is my other sour sap tree and at the root where we throw our compost there's a water two watermelon vines that decided to make that home so there we have it we have our beehive we have moved them around because we weren't being we, we the bees I don't know where the bees are I don't know if they decided to go somewhere else but we decide we saw that they weren't enjoying their home so we kind of moved them around which the experts told us not to do but we put two of them here and we put two of them over there and we haven't seen much activity to be honest but that's where they will sit in the coming week we're going to give them some more attention and see if we can get some bee wax to pull them in and to make some chai you know the fever grass you seep the fever grass and that the scent of that draws the bee in so we're going to give it some attention and see what becomes of that right here i notice a bug an insect and right there's an insect and from what we were told be the the bee they hate anything that's intrusive so i guess we have to go back up there and make sure that nothing is in there that's keeping them away sometimes scorpions come and and oh look there's that big old lizard now if i was a bee and i saw that lizard i wouldn't want to go there either so there he is old culprit but you know everybody needs a home everybody needs food so he's just sitting there now this single box hive is just became a concern for us because this is the only active hive that we have seen and on the side of it we have noticed it's like there is like watermark maybe it's not watermark but honey mark so because the box is tilted somewhat we're wondering what's going on in there um i guess claude has to put his suit on and go check it out that was a bee sorry i gotta get out of here <laughs> okay <clears throat> i'm going all right that was a bee i will exit the scene and head Ooh. okay all right i don't want to get stung so that's what's going on here we the orchard is coming along beautifully we have seen where the vines are fruiting like crazy and for us that is a beautiful sight i've been doing a lot of pruning on this side and giving it extra attention i have been doing that because we've made there's people again on the shamba the farm they're showing you around as usual you know if you look at all all these lines feel right out that's how they run they feel the entire line right through so you can see in between each plant it's six meter so i let them run like three meter and then clip them so they fall to the ground so this is another tree of the pattern this one is have so much fruit 
you think you're like crazy putting out plenty, plenty fruit. Yeah. So it's an ongoing thing, people. Look at our beautiful garden, flower garden coming up. Everything it's day by day looking more beauty and beautiful. We are here people just try to put things in place that we can weather the storm. Over here you can see the two coming up nicely. So this tree it run all the way like three meters and then I clip. So at each root you can see that I bring two sprout or two vine all the way up. So I have one go e different direction. One would go east, one go west along the line. So by the time it reach in the center, I, I clip it so two of them meet. So all these springing, they come to the ground, all of these. So by here, people, I start to put in some fresh peely peely. I'm doing, want to plant about a hectare. I'm pretty close to 1,000 seedling I plant. Look how nice they're coming up. So we have to be busy putting put in the plant. Look at this one already start to be here. These guys do the fertilizer to destroy the plant, even when you tell them, show them how to fertilize. They're still not getting it. So when these peel peel come up, I can harvest a lot. So. I still have the whole tree that I still reap peely peely from. So as soon as these come up, I'm going to pull these out and replace them with fresh one. Uh, as you can see, the space I will just plant right in between. Take out, plant right between all the They're still reaping. Um, still weeping pepper. These are some small ones that I pick. Yeah. As people see. Yeah. And so this is a new field because what we do wrong the first time is that we just did plant a few scopper trees because we didn't know the market would work out but we realized if we have it we can get it served so we just have to plant this is a nice little portion And we're going all the way down here. So we have all these, these line here to finish the out. Yeah, could you just turn the peely peely, turn off, turn peely peely line on. Yeah, thank you, Santi. This is all the way down here, as you can see, we already start 
You see these holes down here. I run out of seedlings, so I just have to wait until those come up and I replant. So. The people, there are two different strings that I put up for it to run on the chalice, so they go either way. All these springing need to prune because if not, it's going to overgrow and cause too many. The tree is a little too crowded. This one needs some attention down here. So if I plant my peely peely or sweet pepper down to this and it would be a whole lot on which I'm going to do it only the seedling I'm waiting on to, to come up. So yes people. This is it.